Okay, so we're going to start with the intro, and with the intro we're going to just play, uh, we do um, alternate picking with the E chord, with the E, uh, the e uh, string. And then... So, what we're going to do, <clears throat> we're going to play the, the loose string, the loose E string. We're going to play on the 15, loose the string again, 15 again. Then we're going to do 17, 15, 17, 15 again. If you can do a, if you can do a, a palm muting, you just do a palm muting. We're going to we're going to use that right now. Then we're going to play on the uh, 18. I'm sorry, the uh, yeah, the 18 of the of the E string. Then loose the string again, and we're going to go to 17. And then loose string again. And then we're going to do 18, hammer on to 19, and we're going to finish on the 17 of the of the of the A string, okay? Let's go again. And we, we, uh, we're going to repeat the same movement uh, three times. And then we're going to do that. So it's the same, the same start. Loose string, and then 15 loose, and 15 again. And then we go 17, 15, 17. And 15 again, the same thing we did before, and we ended that way. We play on the 18, 17, 15, and then 12. And we, and we go to 12, we do our vibrato, okay? Okay, so the next, uh, the next part. It's the same thing we did right here. The only th difference is that actually we made we make it here on the uh, on the third string. So it's losing third position, losing again and third position again. Same thing. Then five, three, five and three. And then we go to sixth, loose string. Everything it's on the on the E string. Then five loose string again and then six hammer on to seven and we ended on the on the fifth position on the a string same thing we did here and we ended the same way like we did right here we go six seven i'm sorry six five three and then loose string Okay, next section. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna play. Our, we're gonna use the E string, the loose E string. We're gonna play. We're gonna use it two, twice. Okay, two times, and then four times. And then one more time, and we do. We're gonna go to the fifth position on the E string. We're gonna hit it once. We're gonna do a hammer on to the sixth position. From six, hammer on to seven, and then we end it on the fifth position on the A on the A string. Okay, we just strike once with this hand. Okay, five, hammer on, and we go to five on the E string. The next thing uh, we do, actually, we we, uh, we repeat this this movement three times, and then what we're gonna do? It's the same thing, two times, then two more, uh, two times more, one more time, and we're gonna do that. It's the same, it's same repeat, uh, the same movement. Five hammer on to six, seven, five on the A string, and five hammer on to six, then seven, 
and fifth position on the A string. Okay, we do two twice, two more time, two times, uh, two times again, one more time, and, and repeat the same movement. Let's go um, slower, okay, in a slower tempo. Okay, next section. So we repeat the same thing we, 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 just, we just did, two times on the losing E string, then four, uh, four more times, one more time, then five, hammer on six, seven, and, and, and five on the, on the A string, we just did that, I'm not going to explain it again, because we just, we just did it. Same thing, and then, we're going to do that, so it's two times on the loose E string, then two more times, okay, two times more, and then, so we're going to go to the third position on the E string, we strike it once, and then we're going to go to the A string, we're going to play it once, and we can do a hammer on to the, uh, to the first position, okay, on the, um, on the first fret on the A string, loosened string, hammer on to, uh, to first fret, and then a pull off to the loosened string again. And when you go, we can go to the third position again on the E string, two times, and then we go to A string again, losing A string, hammer on, pull off back to uh, losing A, losing A, and two times on the third position. Okay. Let's go again in that section. Okay, so the next section. Okay, so what we're gonna use, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna use the, the losing E string. We just, we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna uh, play it two times. Then four times, and then four more times. Okay, but the next four we're gonna do. We're gonna do alternate picking. It's down, up, down, up. Let's go again. And then we, we, we what we are gonna do is the same thing we did before. Two times, then four times, one more time. And the same thing we did before. Okay, let's go one more time. Now, remember to use alt to use a uh, palm muting, and what you can do, you can use this hand to to kill the note. If I'm I'm not I'm not using this and I'm not doing palm muting, it's gonna sound kind of like this. And we don't want that, which is we, we're gonna use palm muting and we're gonna mute the the chord, the strings, when we want the uh, that note to be uh, to be a dead note, okay? To be killed. We, we need to kill the note right there. So the next thing is the same movement, two times, then four more times, then four more times doing down up, down up. And then what we're gonna do? Same thing we did before. Two, then two again on the losing E string, and then same thing we did before. I'm not gonna explain again. It's the same same section, same same phrase. Okay. And the next thing we're gonna do. What they're gonna do, we're gonna go to the G, uh, G power chord. It's third position on the E string, 
fifth on the A string. And we're just gonna do down up, okay? Several times. And then we're gonna use four on the E string, six on the A string. Then we go back to three and five. And we end it. We're gonna go to the uh, sixth position on the E string, eight, eight on the uh, on the A string, then five on the E string, seven on the A string, and then four on the E string and six on the A string. And the next movement, no, let me, let me repeat this in a slow motion and then we just uh, go to the next section. And the next section. Same thing we, we just been doing with the with the E chord, two times, four times, four times, and then two times, two again. And what we do is it's, it's uh, kind of like the thing we did before, but it's it's actually different. What we're gonna do is gonna play on the third position on the on the on the E string, and we're gonna go to the first the first. Uh, fret on the A string, you're gonna hit one one time and do a pull off to the loose A string. Then we go back to the third position on the E string and then we just play the loose string. Let's go again. Okay, so the, the chorus, the first chorus. It's actually the same thing we did on the intro, with the intro. Same thing we did before. So if you got this far, uh, you're gonna be able to play uh, almost the whole song. Because the, uh, the, next, the next thing we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna learn is the solo and then the outro, okay? So, but pretty much this is the, the whole song. Okay, so the next section, it's the solo, and with the solo, we're gonna do the following. So, now when we are ending the, uh, the second chorus, what we're gonna do is, like we did before with the, instead of doing, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna go G power chord and F sharp, F and E, okay, E chord. So we're gonna, we're gonna use uh, twice the, uh, the losing E string and then we're gonna do a slide to the seventh position of the A string. Okay, we just slide and do a, tiny vibration and then we're gonna use seven on the A string eight on the uh, D string seven again eight again then seven again and eight again and the last time the last uh, time where we use the, the eight we do a, a vibration okay then we use the loose string two, uh, two times, twice, again, and then slide to, on, on the third string, on the G string, to the ninth, ninth uh, position, okay, on the, on the, on the uh, G string, and then we're gonna do 14 on the uh, D string, then 15, 14 again, 15 again, 14 again, and then 15, and to do a vibrato. It's the same thing we did right here, but instead of that, we do it here. Okay, so the next part. So, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use alternate picking, and we're gonna do, we're just gonna use uh, the same, same progression twice on each chord. So we're gonna go 12 on, on the on the E string, we're gonna go 12, 13, 15, and then 12, 13, 15 again. 
Uh, I recommend to use is to start with an with a downstroke, an upstroke. Then we're gonna go 11, 12, and 15 on the A string. Then we're gonna go 11, 12, and 15 on the on the D string. Then 11, 12, and 15 on the G string. Then again, 11, 12, and 15 on the B string. And so far we got. And then we go to the E string and repeat the same the same movement several times. And we do that. We just play it a couple times. Same movement. And then we just when we do the last the last time, what we do is uh, on the 15, pull off to 12 and pull off to 13. And we go to 15 and we do a bend, a large bend. Okay? Okay, next section. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to 12 on the E string, we're gonna play 12, 14, and 17. Everything on the on the E string, okay, on the higher E string. 12, 14, and 17. Then we go back to 14 and go back to 17. And then we're going to do 17 pull off to 14, 14 pull off to 12. And that's the movement, that's the main key. And then we, we start again going from 14, 14, 17, 14, and then 17 pull off to 14 and 14 pull off to 12. And we start again. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. So we repeat the same movement uh, three times. And then we go to 12, 15, and 18. And it's the same movement. It's, uh, well, 12, 15, 18, back to 15 then 18, pull off to 15, and, and 15, pull off to 12. Okay? And we repeat the same movement two times. Let's go again, one more time. And then we do that. So when we, we are go uh, going back from, from the uh, pull off from 18, 15, and 12, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to go to 15. Okay. And we're going to do a, a tap on the, I'm sorry, on the 19. 19, go 15 on the E string and 12 again. And then what, what we do is gonna go, we're going to go to the uh, B string, we're going to do 15, 12, back to 15, and then 19, 15, and 12. Let's go in slow motion. I'm sorry. One more time. Then we do uh, the same thing again on the on the uh, on the G string, 15, 12, 15, 19, 15, and 12. Then we go to 14, and we tap now on the 18 on the G string, uh, back to 14, and back to 12. And then, then we go to 14 on the on the D string, 12 and, and 14 again. One more time.
Okay, so next section. So we're gonna do same thing we did before, 14 and, and, and 15 on the G string, I'm sorry, 14 on the D string, 15 on the G string, and then the uh, vibrato. It's the same thing we did before. And then, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the 15 on the B string, we're gonna do a, 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 a band, then we do the release, and do the bend again. Then we're gonna go to 15 on the on the uh, on the first on the E string, and while we are we are still doing the band, we hope we're gonna go to 15 on the E string, and we're gonna go again to the B string. I'm sorry, okay. When we we are doing the band. And when we are doing the second, the third band, we do a vibrato. And then, same thing. Same thing we did before. It's 17 and then 18 on the, on the E string. It's 17, 18, 17, 18, 17, and 18 one last time. And as soon as we end with the 18 on the E string, we're gonna go to the 19 and we're gonna do a large band. Okay, and the last part of the solo. So what we're gonna do, it's we're gonna repeat the same movement several times. It's gonna go, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna use alternate picking. It's gonna go 12 on the uh, on the B string, 12, 15, 14, and 12 on the G string. Then we go back to 14, and we go to 15 on the G string again, and we start the same pattern again. Okay, so we can we can uh, we can do it. In, actually, it's uh, it's moving. It's really fast. So when when we end on the on the fifteen, we do. We're gonna go to twelve on the G string, twelve on the B string. We're gonna play it twice. I'm sorry, one time. And when we play it, we do a. a a band. We go to the 14 on the on the uh, D string. We're gonna go again to 12 and 12 on the B and on the G string. We do a band, and we go to the 14 again. And then we're gonna go again to the 12 on the G, 12 on the on the B. We strike once. We do a hammer on, and a pull off to the 14. Okay. And we end on the on the 14 on the D string, and we do a vibrato. The next movement. So we're gonna go to the 14 on the E string. We're gonna do a band, and then 12, 14, and 15. So notice that when I do the band, I uh, actually. I don't do the release. I do the band, but not the release. I just kill the note with this hand and start playing the next note. Okay? So it's 12, 14, 15 on the B string. Okay? 12, uh, 12 on the E, 14 on the E, 12 on the B. Then 12 on the E string, 15 on the E string. And then we go to 15 on the B, 12 on the E string. 14 on the E string, and then 15 on the B string, and 12, okay? Let's go again. And the next movement, we're gonna go to 14 on the G string, we do a band, the release, and a pull off back to 12, and then we go back again to 14, and we do a vibration. 
to go again. And the next movement. So we go, it's uh, pretty simple. We're gonna go to uh, 14 on the G string. Uh, we'll do a slide to 16. And immediately we play on the 16 on the E string. Then 16, slide to 17 again. And we play the 17 on the E string. And now we're gonna go 18 on the, th on the G string, 18 on the E string, then 19 on the E string. 19, I'm sorry, on the G string and 19 on the on the E string, and then 20 on the G string and 20 on the E string. Okay, and to end we end to end with that section. We're going to go to the 22nd, and we're going to do a, a bend. And when we do the bend, we do the vibrator right there. I'm sorry. Okay, so the next section. So, it's actually kind of a tricky movement. Uh, we can go to the seven on the A string. Okay, we, um, after we play, we do a pull off to the fifth position on the A string. After we do that, we're gonna go to the loose E string and we're gonna play it twice. And then again, seven, pull off to five, two times on the loose E string, and one more time on the, uh, on the seven, pull off to five, and we end it on the fifth position on the D string. If you can do an uh, harmonic, you that's good. So basically it's five and we do a uh, vibration. And we repeat the same thing again. And now, we, instead of using the fifth position, we're gonna go to the seventh. And, and we're gonna do the same thing with the harmonic. And then to end that section, So we're gonna go to the uh, 16 on the D string. We're gonna play once, then 14 on the G string, and do a slide to 12. 14 on the D string, 12, slide to 11. 12 on the G string, 11, slide to nine. 11 on the, on the D string, nine, slide to seven. Nine on the uh, D string, seven, slide to six. And we end on the seventh position on the on the string. It's gonna go one more time, slow tempo. One more time. Now, next section, we actually we, we're gonna use the, we're gonna use the same movement. So we do that. So we're gonna go to 19 on the uh, on the B string and 17 on the E string on the on the higher E. So it's 19, 17, slide to 15, then 17, 15, slide to 14, then five on the B string, 14, slide to 12, then 14, 12. Slide to 10, then 12, 10, slide to 9, and we end on 10 on the B string. Let's go one more time, slow tempo. And one more time in speed. And now the next section, it's pretty much the same thing we did with the intro. It's the same thing. Same thing, so and, and we repeat the same verses again, the same movement, and we repeat actually, uh, then repeat one more time this this movement. And after we uh, we do the, we end this the song in that way. So we're gonna do E chord. It's a we play several times, 
And we're gonna go from the fifth um, position on the E string and seventh on the A string. We're gonna do a slide to third and fifth. Okay, third and fifth. Everything is on the E and on the A string. And we're gonna we, we are with after doing the slide play several times and then we go back to the E chord.